imagine coming from Battlefield 4 into Battlefield 1. And uh, what a disappointment that was, at least for me. Uh, I don't know. I know some people say that they liked Battlefield 1. For me, I. It's kind of my own fault for, you know, pushing uh, a hype train, pushing my, my you know, oh yeah, Battlefield 1 is going to be so great, it's First World War, and, and I played the sniper, and the sniper was fun, and the rest of the gameplay was hipfire fest deluxe. Uh, uh, the medic class was like, hey, let's play with semi-auto ri uh, semi rifles the entire fucking game, that's not very fun. Um, let's play Hipfire Fest if you play the... I forgot what they call. called. I think what they call the Assault class. Um, the Anti-Tank class. And if you play, you know, LMGs were kind of LMGs. And then you had Snipers, which was really fun. and had a buff for some weird reason. Um, and that's it. The, the game ran smoothly, especially towards the end. There was some great content. The game looked amazing and all the kind of stuff. And it was very immersive and so on. The single player came really for good. But the gameplay was so boring. And I almost fell asleep. Um, Battlefield 5. Uh, PR nightmare, whatever you want to call it. Is this game actually dead? Is it alive? How is it actually doing uh, with Firestorm, with everything, and especially the multiplayer? I think this game is hands down really fucking fun. Like, like it's way more fun than what people give it credit for. And I think that uh, for me, it was the bad taste in my mouth after Battlefield One that I just I bought the game because I I love Battlefield and I want to try it out and I I I. I feel that the reason I hated on it was because I, I wanted Battlefield 4, and I didn't get Battlefield 4. I want a modern military shooter, and I got Second World War, and didn't want Second World War, because First World War had disappointed me so much, that I was kind of like, yeah, fuck it, I don't care, I, I don't care anymore. Give me something that's fun, give me my attachment systems, let me do loadouts, do that, give me that, I don't want the other things. And, and that didn't bring it, it didn't bring it to the table, but hands down, been playing it a shit ton now doing assignments, been unlocking guns, there's these kind of tides of war challenges and so on, and it's actually really fucking fun, and I see a lot of players on there. It's not like, you know, a billion, it's not Fortnite by any chance, and on Twitch, it's pretty dead, but the game itself, the raw gameplay, and I have never had a problem getting into a match in this game, the raw gameplay is really, really fun, playing every single class for me is really, really fun, LMGs might be a little bit overpowered, at least I've heard so, I have personally not experienced them being overpowered, I've died to them, but I've not felt them being overpowered, but I've heard a lot of people say they're overpowered, so I'm gonna mention that people like Westy and Level Cap and so on that are way more experienced in these games than I am, as I don't have the time to put into them, right, I'm not a full-time YouTuber or anything like that, um, they have said that these guns are very overpowered, that they're very strong, and maybe need a little bit of nerf. But besides that, I think the entire gameplay is fun. I think the maps are good. Uh, here comes the problem with this game. And this is, if you want a, this game, if you want to buy it, and if it's worth your time, the graphics are insane. The gameplay is super fun. The gunplay is satisfying. The kills are satisfying. Everything is good. There's an unlock system. There's a progression system. All that is really, really, really great. And I love it. And uh, microtransactions is not heavily pushed. There are some microtransaction stuff with some skins and whatnot, but they're not insanely pushed. When it comes to the state of the game, however, that's where the problem comes in. There's a bunch of bugs. Um, most patches brings in more bugs, it fixes some bugs and then brings in some more and so on. The, the game is very, very unstable. A lot of content has been pushed back and there has been a large delay of content. Um, a lot of maps have been delayed and so on and we have gotten actually quite a low amount of content. There's been a lot of focus on bug fixes and so on. Which, personally, of course, it, it sucks. I personally feel that the maps themselves are really, really fun. There's some I like more than others. Um, this does need more content. More content is coming in the early next months, according to what I've heard from sources. There shouldn't be pushed back more. There should be at least two new maps coming and so on. There should be new guns. And there's all soon the, the Pacific Theater is going to be introduced to the game, which is more content. There's going to come more content. And I actually do believe it. Um, the state of the game will, of course, rise up. But right now, if you buy this game, it's a fun game. It's a really, really good game. And I recommended however there are lag spikes there are like frame spikes where it just randomly drops frames you can somewhat get it stable um you can't really push very high fps even with decent rigs i run a 1070 an i7 processor uh 16 gigs around it runs on ssd and it i still get my my fps drops i still get my 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 these frame drops I still get low fps and it get pushed to the limit and so on i think that yes while it does hurt the game i can in generally play this game while being in the Discord conversation and listen to music, and I can still play the game just fine. It's not super smooth, it's not the best optimization, and there are a lot of bugs, but I personally not had any of that 
ruined my personal experience. There's a lot of YouTubers that talk about them, though. And again, I want to refer to some of these specialists, some of the people that actually played way more um, that has experienced worse bugs. I personally not really. I experienced, I, I experienced a reload bug, which ruined one of my animations. So I didn't get the full animation, which triggered me hard because I like to see reload animations. They're super satisfying for me. Don't even at me. Um, but besides that, I think the game is really, really fun. You might want to wait until next month. So wait until your next payday. Wait until like the 6th or 7th or 8th. Wait until that. And then I highly recommend you checking out this game if you like Battlefield, if you like FPS games like that. I highly recommend you checking it out. The player count is pretty healthy in my opinion. I have no problems getting into any matches. And I think the Firestorm is a really, really fun game mode. I like Firestorm. I played a lot. It's actually really, really fun. I don't think the player count on Firestorm is the biggest. And I think that there's some problems with some issues with the looting animations and whatnot. But the game itself is fun. But you shouldn't buy this for Firestorm. And Firestorm for me, it's, it's just like a tagged on, like, here's an extra, it's fun, it's entertaining, it's really badass, um, but I personally really, really like the multiplayer, I think the multiplayer is really, really good, guns feel good, kills feel good, movement feels good, all of that feels really, really great, it's a fun, entertaining game, and it's good progression, I personally like the progression system, company coin, unlocking, buffing up some certain weapons, unlocking new weapons, there's a title war, which kind of, or whatever they're called, which kind of gives you um, limited unlock time, so you have to complete some easy assignments, and then you get like a very specific gun, like an anti-tank rifle, or some pretty cool guns, actually, right, also new cosmetics or whatnot, so you always, every week you get like, here's some new content, Unlock that, work toward that, grind toward that, while you're unlocking your soldier, while you're unlocking weapons, you're getting more company coin. I personally like that. Um, so I, I actually do recommend this game, and I think that it's actually decent and live. I think it has a bad rep because it fiasco of the run and so on. There's been a lot of bugs and so on, which of course needs to be fixed and needs to be addressed by EA, uh, or more, more certainly dies. Um, which I've been trying, and there's something wrong in the back engine. It's not normal for a development process to see this many implementations ruining that many things. I have no clue what actually went on on the back end. I can only speculate that it's spaghetti code or bad programmed or in some way there's a bunch of inconsistency in the way they're set up. There, there has, There's something wrong in the way that they have set up and built the code from the ground up. No clue what the issues are exactly, um, but that needs, of course, to be fixed. So, if you want to take out Battlefield 5, I actually do recommend it, but wait until next month, maybe until the next content drop, um, and then keep a little bit eye on it. And do recommend and do note and pay this in mind that you might have some performance issue, especially from time to time. You can adjust this by not equipping assignment, by turning down graphic settings, and whatnot, but you will have some form of performance issue, most likely, and um, from time to time doing when you play. So, if you don't have like a like a if you have a very outdated computer, like you run a 960 or something GTX, like a very outdated graphic card, maybe a low processor on top of that, and your rig is good, you might want to stay away from that, especially to the fix that. But if you run like a decent, like again, I run a 1070, if you even run a 1060, 1070, 1080 or whatever, I'm highly expecting that you can play this game at a decent FPS and have a good time. Uh, because again, I think that this gun is way more entertaining than what people think, and I think that um, that's something that needs to be addressed, and again, Without the sour taste of Battlefield 1 in my mouth, I'm actually enjoying this game quite a lot. But I'd like to hear what you think down in the comments. Have you played Battlefield 5? I mean, the latest. What do you think is the issue from uh, this amount of bugs constantly occurring and crashes and whatnot uh, on the map that delays content? What do you think is the is the issue if you have any experience in programming or anything like that? I would love to hear from you, but as always, guys, it's hot this summer, so please stay hydrated, drink some water, and take care of yourself. I love you guys very much. My name is Joel. And of course, like, subscribe, and all the good stuff. And as always, join me in your crossing. Awesome.